Yeah, swung around. Y'all doing okay today? Yeah, we're always good, sir. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Well, we're live here on the trading post, and you're getting set up with Facebook Live there. Yeah, I'm trying to get set up. I don't know if I'm doing this thing right or not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see here. Didn't think it was so hard to work a pair of earphones, but there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's another great day here at uh, Cedar Creek Lake. Uh, we just got through with uh, Memorial Day, one of our busiest holidays here at the lake. Everybody comes down looking for a nice lakefront property to buy to enjoy the summer with. And uh, speaking of Memorial Day, I got our first property here is actually got Memorial in it. It's at 157 Memorial Drive. And for people that are familiar, this is over at the Holiday Club subdivision. This is a nice two bedroom, two bath, 1,056 square foot home. Uh, it's got hardy board siding, new laminate, uh, just very recently. A new roof, I believe, was put on late, late last summer. And um, nice view of the lake. So not an actual waterfront home, but just right across the street, great views from the front porch, which, like I say week after week, is my favorite place to hang out. And what better place to hang out and drink your coffee than with a nice water view? Yeah, Memorial Drive on Memorial Day. Well, a few days past. A few days, days past, but you can still you can still enjoy Memorial Day any day mm -hmm. of the year here in the U.S. So. Um, yeah, on Memorial Drive. Right, it's, I think there was a great location. I tell you, a lot of people probably down here. Uh, this is one thing: people come down to visit family and friends for Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, our two biggest holidays of the year mm -hmm. in the lake area here. And what happens to a lot of people is they come down, they enjoy where they're staying, they like to look for a house of their own, mm -hmm. and uh, it is a great time to get out and buy right now. Lots of properties coming online. Uh, so if you're looking to get your property on online right now, good time out there. Lots of buyers. They're in the area right now looking for it. I'll tell you, in our area, um, you know, if you read if you read a lot of the um, papers and um, see some of the media, they talk about you know um, different aspects of the market. Our market right now, we have a lot of buyers. Um, things come on the market and they're selling pretty good. If you've got a property you've been thinking about selling, this is one of the best opportunities to sell. We have a we have an abundance of buyers. We're having great weather out here. We've got great lenders that are still lending, um, but we've got low inventory in just about every category. Uh, yeah, and inventory. I'll tell you why it's so low. The last time when we were on here and we were discussing some of these properties that were available, and in fact, I think the last two times, every single one of them is already under contract. Yeah. And so if you're looking to get into a home, it is a good time to act. Yeah. Um, your traditional residentials are selling good. Your waterfronts are selling good. Um, acreage, especially in that 11 to 20 acre range, if you've got 11 to 20 acres um, you're wanting to sell, now is a great time to get a great price uh, for your acreage. You know, you can give us a call up there at Coldwell Banker at 903-887. 7055. Um, talk to one of us, uh, get your property on the market, or if you're looking to buy, like we always reiterate about um, getting your ducks in a row. You know, getting your getting with your realtor, getting your lending in place, so when you're shopping, you can put that contract um, on that property. Um, got a piece of property about 11 acres over here in Kemp that um, it recently came back on the market, and as soon as it did, there had been Lots of people who'd been interested in it before, um, and people had still been shopping for it while it was under contract. It came back available again, and it went uh, jiffy pronto, right back under contract. Um, you have to have your you have to have your things together, and mm -hmm. so um, get with one of us, and we'll get you started on that process. Because uh, you've got properties like one five seven Memorial Drive. You're saying ninety five thousand for that right there in Holiday Club. Yeah, a water view for under a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, the, that's a good buy today. I mean, that, um, and you're saying it's got new roof on that. Uh, what else you got on? New that? laminate floors new there. Laminate Hardy floor. board siding, good durable siding there. So this is a move-in ready home. Mm -hmm. 
with a great water view right there in Holiday Club on Memorial Drive for under 100000 at just $95,000. That's a great buy. Somebody's going to go out shopping for that this weekend. Oh, yeah, they, be they better. Like I said, these properties have been going quick. So if this is something you're interested in and you're set up and ready to go, mm -hmm. this might be one worth putting an offer in this weekend. Yeah. If, if you're not quite ready, like we said, Give us a call. We'll help you go through the process to get ready to purchase one of these great homes. Yeah, we'll we'll get you we'll get you ready. But if you're ready, you need to get out there. If you've got your lending in place, if you've got your if you've got your Ben Franklin list going, you know your your wants, your needs, and your desires itemized out. This is this is this is what I would like. You know, this is what I'd really really like my desire you know if I can get it that's extra bonus and then here's my needs this is I have to have this many bedrooms I have to have this many bathrooms I have to be in this school district and you've got that itemized list out so that whenever you're shopping you can make that easy easy decision and you can be confident in it right I love people to go ahead and make their list out because there's certain things like you say there's a difference between a want and a need yeah I may want to live only a few miles from the grocery store because mm -hmm. I don't like to have to go too far for my weekly shopping. Mm -hmm. But if I have kids at home, like I do, I may need to be in a close proximity to a school. Yeah. And so they may be involved in sports and after school activities and living 30 miles out is a, is a no-go for me. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, having these needs in place could go ahead and help us eliminate several properties. No use in looking at properties that are not going to fit what you need. Yeah, like you say, you know, you've got your needs, your wants, your desires. So I may be looking at, I've got, I've got several kids, and we're already established in this school district, or we're wanting to be in this school district. That's a need. I'm not going to shop outside that school district because that's a need. Uh, want I want to be as close to the um, to the grocery store as I as I can be. A desire might be like, you know, I want I want gray laminate floors. Okay, this one has carpet. Gray laminate floors, that's a desire, but that's one that if you meet your need, that school district, and even if you meet that want, being close to that school, that desire of like the gray laminate floors, um, we've got lots of great contractors. That can be that can be easily fixed on on a property property. Uh, whether right after you move in or even you get moved in, you get established, you enjoy it for a, a year or so, and you know you just take your time and take care of that desire as um, as the time and the budget fits. Yeah, there's lots, lots of great contractors to take care of that for you. I was talking to a contractor friend of mine this week that they are finally able to get started on a brand new subdivision here at the lake, getting started. They've already got the roads and the water and the sewer and things already in place, and so they're about to start framing up houses, mm -hmm. good time to get your stuff in order so you might be ready by what time one of these is built. Yeah. See, there's there's another thing with the needs, wants, and desires. If you say, I need to be in this school district, but then I want to be in this subdivision, um, this is one of the things you can do while you're getting with us and you're getting your lending together, um, you're getting your list made, is on your own time, um, you can... Stop it at our office. We've got lots of maps of the of the local area that itemize out the subdivisions on them. And you can look there and you can see, okay, here's the different subdivisions. And take your time and drive through them. See which subdivision you like. And you can take that map with that marker and you can you can put a big old circle around this is one that I want, this is one I want, this is one I want. So you've narrowed it down to that school district, then you narrow it down. To those subdivisions you want to be in and so you narrow these things down and you make it a process a b c one two three mm -hmm. and then you can get into 157 memorial drive right another good one they can get into another great subdivision is over at 409 oahu loop okay. this is a three bedroom two bath 980 square foot home it does have a one car carport also for your vehicles there good thing i like about this one it's got a 14 by 20 workshop that already has the electrical run out to it. Oh, very nice. Yeah, you can get all this for only 99.5. 99.5 for a 3-2 house with a workshop. With a workshop. And I tell you, if you've been by my house lately, you can see how much I need a workshop. We've always got some project going on there. <laughs> Having that little workspace to get in and out of the rain or the sun, whichever one is beating down on us that day, would be a great, great find. Which these workshops are... Uh... These are something that 
a lot of people really desire it. There's even people that really want them. Some people even need a workshop. Uh, so it's a heavily looked for um, amenity on a lot of properties. We have great building crews that if you don't have a workshop, can just about any property, they can figure out a way to get you a workshop there within the, you know, within the building restrictions, depending on where you're at. Um, but sometimes, just depending on your budget, your situation, or just your time frame, um, you may want to go ahead and just have that workshop already established so you don't have to go through the building process. Or sometimes, just if it's already on the property, it's just included in the lending. But trying to get the property and then get the separate lending for the workshop and go through the building process, um, it doesn't fit the time frame and the uh, budget needs of uh, some of our clients. So some of them find it easier just to find a great property like this with a with a really good workshop that's what, a 14 by 20 you said? 14 by 20. If you look at the price of building you a brand new workshop mm -hmm. too, to get one rolled in at that purchase price yeah. is a very uh, economical buy today. Yeah, because you're, you're under 100000 for the property with the house, but you also get the workshop. And this isn't just like a little a nice little uh, work shed. I like those little work sheds they have that they drop on the properties. This is a full-fledged workshop. You can park your car in there and still have room for your tools and your, your workbench and still still do some things and stretch out in this workshop. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be over there, Paradise Bay area. Paradise Bay. With okay. the, yeah, if you ever wonder about some of these names, like Oahu. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were all in Paradise Bay, all these nice Hawaiian names that sometimes we have a little trouble with the pronunciations. <laughs> right. <laughs> I give it the good old college boy try on right. some of this stuff. Um, I've been to Hawaii twice. Um, <laughs> so, uh, thank, thank you taxpayers for, um, for paying your taxes and funding, funding those little um, adventures a few years ago. So uh, they, they were fun. We, we took out some Harrier jump jets out there. We were doing a Westpac and so got to see Hawaii. And, uh, I couldn't pronounce the name, these Hawaiian names then. I sure can't do it now. So um, didn't get that good of funding. Yeah, but if, if you ain't got the funding to go over there, you can own your own little piece of paradise mm -hmm. here in Paradise Bay for only ninety nine five. I like that transition. That was good. That was yeah, good. yeah, that's a very good transition. He's, he's getting smooth. Yeah, yeah, he's getting smooth. I want to move over to our next one. This is a little closer in to uh, towards Gun Barrel City. What we've got is at one zero eight Wedgewood Loop. This is a nice little one bedroom, one bath, 420 square foot cabin. Not tons of room in this one, but if you're maybe a first time home buyer or downsizing, but want to be close to the lake here, this is a great little cabin with a lake view for 34,000. 34,000. And you're saying cabin because um, it's got the economical square foot, uh, 420 square foot, you said, right? 420, yes. And so it's a one bedroom, one bath. Uh, but you're saying cabin because this isn't just a, you hear about tiny homes a lot. Yeah, it's kind um, of in the square footage of, of a tiny home, maybe. It's the square footage, but it's site built. Site built, and it has been recently remodeled. Okay. So um, you have some properties that have some of these tiny homes. You'll see this square footage and sometimes you'll get a tiny home that's been brought to a property and set up. Um, this isn't a tiny, well it's a tiny home, but it's not a tiny home. Right. So this is, this is an actual cabin, it's actually built there, 420 square foot there, 108 Wedgwood Loop, and that gets you home, a place to call home for Thirty-four thousand. Thirty-four thousand. If you want to call it your four hundred and twenty square foot mansion, that is fine with me as well. That's fine with me. But uh, I just like the idea, the sound of a cabin in the woods here at the lake for only thirty-four thousand. For only thirty-four thousand, and I like the sound of that four hundred and twenty square foot because, um, man, you know, you, you look at the the nice pictures of the of the great big homes, and they're beautiful until you have to clean it. <laughs> Well, in some instances for me, my home's a little bit larger than this, but we like having a little less square footage. It's enough for us and everybody that comes in. Sometimes it seems like with all the kids running around and the extra family, we're always full, but it's not too much that we can't maintain, and it allows us uh, economically to be able to travel, which is a good thing we like to do. Yeah, this is great um, whether you're just uh, retired, wanting to do more traveling around the country, uh, you want a place to come back home to, but you don't want to have to have a lot of maintenance while you're gone, or um, you're 
you're young, you're working, you're working on the road a lot, so you just need a place to um, store your, your basic essentials and lay your head down at night. But your main focus right now is uh, building that career, building that company. Um, you have other obligations in life. And so you just need something on the home front that's very simple, very economical, very comfortable. This is a great place. And it could just be that you need a place to stay for a few evenings. You got friends, family that you come down to visit. Mm -hmm. And this would be a good place that you can have your own location to go home to. Yeah. Maybe spend most of the time hanging out with them at their place. Yeah, hanging out with them at their place or vice versa. You've got your place and you have lots of friends and family that come in on a regular basis. This is great overflow, mm -hmm. great overflow. Um, if you've got lots of friends, families, acquaintances that come in the area, you know, and you don't like to have to be subject to, is there hotel availability, is there not? Uh, where are we gonna put them up? This is a great overflow that gives them their privacy while still allowing them to easily visit you. Well, and like I said, this does have a lake view and it is in a waterfront subdivision. Okay. So for only 34,000, you still have access to those boat launches okay. and parks, the same as anybody else in the community. Yeah, that's a great property thing that you can get you can get something like this for $34,000 right there on Wedgwood Loop. Uh, what is that? 108? 108, 108 Wedgwood Loop. Having trouble saying that this morning. Wed Wedgwood Loop. You can say Oahu, but you can't say Wedgwood. Yeah, I can say Oahu, <laughs> but I can't say Wedgwood. So, <laughs> what's your next property, Brett? This one is going to be in the same subdivision over here in Gun Barrel City. This is going to be at 115 Vista Ridge Drive. And this is a three bedroom, two bath. 1,620 square foot home, and uh, it's a, it's a well-maintained home there. Uh, nice, quiet cul-de-sac where it's located, and this is a waterfront home. Okay. It actually has a nice covered back porches looking out over the water, not across the street at the water, but on the water. And the boathouse itself actually has two separate sitting areas, not just one, but two areas. So is that, that two, one on each side, or is that a lower and an upper? On this one, it's one on each side, which okay. makes them kind of covered, which is, to me, I, I like to sit in the shade and look out at the sun a lot of times. Uh, I had my younger days of fun of just roasting. Yeah, when I was young, I liked to roast. Now, I like to shade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I even go down the river with an umbrella now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, lovely home here. Like I said, 3-2, 1,624 square foot for only 175,000. A waterfront home for only 175,000. Waterfront home, 175,000, and that's a 3-2. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times we see waterfront homes in this price range are the two bedroom, the two one, the two two, but this actually gets you that third bedroom and you're over 1,600 square feet has the boathouse in place with two two sitting areas, you said? Two sitting areas Two there. sitting areas there for 175000 yeah, And that's just two sitting areas right down at the water on the boathouse. You've also got a nice covered porch up at the home that you can look across and see the water as well. I really do like those covered porches, you know, because as much as I like sitting there on that sitting area on the boathouse, uh, sometimes you just want to just step out your back, your back door and sit down and just enjoy the enjoy the morning, enjoy the evening, um, and you know, you can walk down there to the lake anytime later, mm -hmm. but you just you just have a nice cup of coffee and you just want to sit out there for a few minutes. Yeah, great, great, great place to go fishing. My brother Will was out fishing last night, said they were pulling in a pretty good pretty good load of fish they brought in last night. Been hearing that from a lot of fishers around the lake mm -hmm. this week. And so this would be a great fishing spot. Probably 175,000. 175,000. And I'll tell you, this is of the freshwater lakes and streams and ponds and creeks and rivers that I have fished. I would say Cedar Creek Lake has the best fishing that I have ever fished, hands down. Yeah, a wide variety of fish here, uh, which gives you, through different times of the year, there's different fish that bite better. But you get a lot of different seasons, and just any day you go out, you can catch something. You can catch something. There's there's a fish in this in this lake for just about every angler out there. You've got your you've got your different cats. You got your blue cats. You got your channel cats. You got your opelousas. You got your um, you got your different bass. You got your largemouth. You got your sandy. Um, 
I think we still got smallmouth in this lake. Mm -hmm. um, you've got crappie. Um, you got stripers. I mean, there's there is just a lot of variety out there that just give lots of great fishing fun. And that's a great thing about our lake is they allow the fishing. Mm -hmm. We allow the fishing, the boating, the skiing, the the water pumps to do irrigation at your home that you just can't get at a lot of other lakes. Mm -hmm. Which and you speak about that. One of the great things about Cedar Creek Lake is. If you go to, if you look at a lot of the lakes around Texas, you own down to the, to the flood line, but a lot of the lakes don't allow you possession and use past that flood line. So you get to look at the lake, but you can't put in a retaining wall so easy or build a boathouse out there. Cedar Creek Lake, one of the fantastic things about Cedar Creek Lake, is you own down to that flood line, but you get possession and use down to the actual water. And Tarrant Regional. Um, has been very generous at letting people put in a variety of different types of retaining walls to help retain your property, um, as well as um, being very, very open about allowing piers and boat docks that allow you just to walk out there, put that hook in the water, drop that boat. Um, you don't know how much, how valuable that is until you don't have it. Right. Yeah, and it's just. It is just a great amenity that Tarrant Regional uh, lets you do on this lake and for like the fishing, just being able to walk out your door and walk out on that boathouse and put that hook in that water anytime you're ready to go fishing. And you can do it at this property, 115 Vista Ridge Drive for only 175,000. Yeah, great waterfront property. Great today. waterfront property. And uh, so let's move on. I got a couple more here. I want to try to squeeze in. Uh, next one is over at the Cedar Creek Country Club. It seems like our company just, well, I guess several of them live there, but just kind of taking over the country club. It's, we got a new one every week, I think, from there. And this is at 17792 Country Club Drive, a four bedroom, three bath home, over 2,000 square feet, a two car garage with an extra golf cart garage on the side, which anybody living in the country club over there knows how important that is. Everybody loves to run around in their golf courts and their subdivision. Open living area, granite, all in the kitchen with breakfast bar and some of the nice luxuries people are looking for these days. One of my favorite things, not going to be using it much right now, but it does have a wood burning fireplace. Mm. And it'll be here before we know it that you'll be wanting to have that in the home as well. Covered rear patios that's overlooking the golf course for only 305000 today. 305,000 in the country club. Is that waterfront or off water? This is an off water. This one is a golf course home. Okay. So you're off the water, but you're in a waterfront subdivision. Correct. So they do have a boat launch. So even though you're not on the water, you still have access to the lake. Okay. So you still have access to the lake and you're not just off water, but you're on the golf course. Mm -hmm. So you can walk right out your back door, right there on the greens and get going. It's kind of like having a big backyard that somebody else mows for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. They keep the grass looking spectacular mm -hmm. over there. Which I'll tell you, another use for that golf course besides just the golfing is you have the uh, golf cart path. Um, there's a lot of people when they're not golfing in the in the country club, they enjoy that as a as a community park and walking trail. They really love that walking trail. You go up to even like Dallas, things like that. A lot of the subdivisions are starting to put in parks and walking trails throughout their subdivisions, um, living on the golf course allows you that same amenity. Mm -hmm. and with spectacular views. Spectacular views and my goodness they maintain that grass beautifully. Well this wasn't just a place that they stuck some grass down and drilled a hole in the ground. This was set up as a professional golf course. Yeah I think this one's actually like a PGA level golf course that yes. was set up back in the 1960s. I've never seen Tiger Woods play here yet. But it is a PTA grade course. But I'm sure if he did, he would very much enjoy the course. I'm sure. He <laughs> may even buy a house here. Maybe. If he hears that, there's Maybe one he'll buy the, Yeah, that one right there. There you go. There's a house for him. Very economical. He can buy it so that just whenever he's in town, he can stay right there on the green and walk out and do his thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that would attract some more people here as well. Yes. Um, yeah. So um, might have to buy, if he's if he's looking to buy, the prices might go up a little bit trying to be his neighbor. So i um, not saying he is. <laughs> <laughs> but if they are, or you are. as even a non-professional golfer are looking for a golf yeah. home today, 
You can give anybody at our office a call at 903-887-7055 to get you in here. Who knows, maybe if you're living right next to the course, you'll step up and be a professional golfer one day. Maybe that's all you're missing out. It's just that extra little bit of time from being able to step out there on the green, you know, rather than having to load up the golf cart and drive over here, drive over there, get in your car, go across town to the, to the country club. You can be right there and you can just come home, Drop your things, walk out the back door, and just uh, work on your work on your backswing. Mm -hmm. But also, that would be such a good relief. Like you have a stressful job, come mm -hmm. home, just go right in your backyard, and start playing golf. Oh yeah, I, I haven't been out near as much as I would like to, but it is very peaceful, relaxing. I see why people try to go every week. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're in love with golf, whether you're a long time golfer or new to the game, uh, just like you're saying, being able to come home. You don't have to load up. You just come home, drop your things, and you can just be out there on the course, and you can golf till dark, and then come home and deal with whatever that, well, you probably won't be thinking about it because you'll just be relaxed and at peace because you've been out there on the golf course all afternoon. Then get up, go to work, come home, do the same thing the next day. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for the weekend. No. <laughs> no. It's a great, great house, 17792 Country Club Drive on the golf course, four-bedroom, is it two bedroom, uh, two bath, or three bath? That's a three bath home. So four bedroom. I tell you what, bedroom. anybody that needs an extra bath, that, that is a great luxury to have in a home. That is a great luxury. Two thousand ninety-five square feet, three hundred and five thousand. Right. Three hundred and five thousand. Get that showing scheduled today. Don't wait to see this property. See it today. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to see this property, they give you all a call, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Give Brett a call. What, you know, 903 340 6301, or you can give me shy call 903 340 6159 to set up the showing on this property on Country Club Drive or any of the others. And you got one last property, real quick. One last, I'm gonna squeeze. You can't call on this one just yet, but get your pen and paper and write it down because this one is coming online this weekend. Okay, this is gonna be north of Maybank, and this is a spectacular home. It's at 855 Van Zandt County Road 2715. This is a three bedroom, two bath, two, plus an office, okay. two story barn dominium, sitting on over five and a half acres. Wow. Been recently remodeled, has a brand new, very large workshop. I don't have the square footage on that right now, but it's big. They've got several things in there. And although this is not on Cedar Creek Lake, Right out your back door is kind of a private lake. Only a few neighbors there surrounding this lake. It, I don't know how big it is, but from the, I can't see how far it goes around the corner there. Good size. You can get out in your boat and move around. I'm sure there's lots of fishing and skiing and all sorts of things you could do on this one as well. Not quite as many people get to enjoy this one as Cedar Creek Lake. But this one is going to be coming on the market for only two hundred and forty thousand. Two hundred and forty thousand, and you get a three-two home on a private lake. And just because you're on a private lake doesn't exclude you from Cedar Creek. You can still load the boat up and come over here and and play in these waters all the same. Trade out which day you want. Right. And so, as I said, this one's not on this morning. You won't be able to find it just yet. So if this sounds like something you're interested in. Give us a call to get set up to see if you're approved to be able to get this one as soon as it hits the market. This but it's weekend. it's being it's being uploaded to the system right now. Right? Yeah, yeah. So and it's it's going in the system. But I tell you, if you're listening, uh, get that showing because two hundred and forty thousand five and a half acres with the home on a private lake. Brett, where do you find these deals? <laughs> They're out there. We you, just. You're just a good realtor. Uh, you're just an all-around good realtor, and you find good properties at good price. You put buyers and sellers together, uh, making both parties happy with the transaction. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a good property. That's what we try to do is provide the best service. Mm -hmm. We are in the service industry yeah. for our clients. Whether you're buying or selling, just be sure and give us a call. Okay, how do they get a hold of you, Brett? 903-340-6301. Or you can give me shy a call at 903 903- Three four zero six one five nine, or you can find either one of us on Facebook. Brett said, um, "How do they find you on Facebook? Just start typing in Brett Killian, Cobalt Banker, American Dream Realty." Yeah, I'll come up to the top there. He'll come up to the top, or you just start typing "Shy Ben Realtor, Cobalt Banker, American Dream Realty." I show up, or give our office there a call nine zero three eight eight seven seven zero five five, located in the heart of Gun Barrel City, big blue and white building at six hundred West Main, open seven days a week, Monday through Saturday, nine to five, Sunday. 12 to 4, uh, give us a call, email, Facebook, or just 
Stop in. You don't have to have an appointment. Stop in and talk to one of us, and we'll get you started on the process. Okay, well, is that it, or you guys want to... Are y'all good? Or? That's good. That's awesome. good. I mean, that's a good list of properties there. Um, we're going to leave the properties with you in case somebody, somebody okay. calls yeah. up here. So um, you'll know how to get a hold of us, and um, you'll be able to have it there. So um, give them the address if they need to drive by or if they want to call us, and you can tell them okay. what to ask about. Will do. Will do. Well, thank y'all so much. Yeah, and, thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to hop into a commercial break, and we'll be back with more buying, selling, and trading right after this.